As professional photographers, our default is to capture landscapes in colour to maximise their purchase potential to prospective clients. Stock sites, prints, canvases, you name it, there's no doubt that colour makes more commercial sense. But limit yourself just to colour and you could be missing a trick. Fine art landscapes lend themselves to monoconversions, or to take this technique even further, as we'll show you now, a duo tone finish will add a real sense of luxury to your frame. This technique works better with landscapes that include high contrast and a range of lighting tones, and you can use the duotone treatment to help steer the narrative of the image, adding a cooler tone for more melancholy feel to the frame, or alternatively, add energy to the frame with a warmer tone. Whichever road you take your landscape down, the power behind this conversion is thanks to Affinity Photo 2, which enables the process to be quick, speeding up your workflow, but also precise affording you as the photographer a high amount of control so you can put your signature feel to the frame. Whenever you open a JPEG image in Affinity Photo 2, you will start your journey in the software's Photo Persona. That's identified up at the top left of the interface. Our first job is to head over to the Layers panel on the right of the interface and select the Adjustments icon, which is identified by a half black, half white circle. Click on it and a range of options will appear. And the first one we want is black and white. Your image will switch to mono and this is where the fine tuning begins. Head to the dialog box and work your way through the color channel sliders to darken or lighten areas of the frame. Now this step is down to your personal taste, but I recommend boosting the tones in the foreground and in the sky to draw the viewer's attention to them. So I'm just going to darken my sky and try and lighten the foreground. Head back to the Layers panel and click on the Adjustments icon again. This time scroll down to Brightness and Contrast. As always the dialog box will pop up and you'll be greeted with two sliders, one for Brightness and one for Contrast. We're going to drag both sliders to the right to not only brighten the image a little bit but to really add that contrast. And contrast is needed because when you do convert to mono the image can look a little bit flat so it does need some punch adding to the picture. Head back to the Layers panel, but this time we're going to click on the background layer right at the bottom of the stack. Then we're going to head up to Filters, to Sharpen, and we're going to select Unsharp Mask. And all this will do is allow us to sharpen the bottom layer and just add that definition to the frame. And again, don't go too far or you'll ruin the quality of the image, but for this image around 3px, 3.1px will be absolutely fine. Okay, now it's time to add our duotone. So head back to the Layers panel, click on the Adjustments icon and scroll down to Lens Filter. A dialog box will appear and you'll see that by default it's set to quite a warm filter. In fact, I'm going to go the other way with this and I'm going to click on the colour box, drag my colour wheel around to a more bluer, more melancholy option. But I want it to be quite deep, so I'm just going to drag the second colour wheel option in a bit. Now, if you find this effect is too strong, you can change the opacity of this layer by dragging the bar down. So that's it at 0%. And this is it with the duotone at 100%. And I quite like this, so I'm going to stick with 100%. Okay, our next job is to head back to the Layers panel one final time. Click on the Adjustments icon, but this time select HSL. Now HSL is often used for affecting colour, but we're going to use it to create a vignette. So head down to the luminosity slider and drag this all the way to the left. We then need to create a mask. Head to the toolbar and select the paintbrush tool and make sure this is set to black. Then all you need to do is change the size of the brush with the square bracket keys and start to draw out some pixels here. Just make circular motions until you delete all the pixels except for in the corners. Now the effect may look way too strong still, but don't worry, we're going to fix this. Because I'm going to head to the layers panel once more and change the opacity of this layer to really reduce its impact. This is without the vignette and this is with the vignette. And there we go, it takes just a few minutes to completely transform the look of your image. Let's start from the beginning, that was our colour image. We added the black and white adjustment. 
we added the brightness and contrast. Then we added our duo tone effect thanks to the lens filter option. And then we added the vignette thanks to the HSL adjustment. All you need to do now is head up to File, scroll down to Export, and you can save the file in your chosen format, whether it be a JPEG, TIFF, or PSD. Have fun adding the duotone effect to your landscape images, and I'll see you next time.